Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about multiplying and dividing positive and negatives, and we want to find each quotient. So, if I was given this quotient, negative 72 divided by negative 4, okay? Negative 72 divided by negative 4. Well, the way I like to break this down, because sometimes off the top of my head, um, and you can, it's going to be 18, but... <coughs> The 72 is kind of hard to think about, oh, okay, Ooh, how do I get uh, 4 going to 72? And I'm going to show you some methods for that. So what I do is say, okay, 72, I can break down to be, well, 2. 2 obviously goes into it because it's an even number. So 2 times 1 is 72. Hmm, how can I think about that? Well, 2 goes into 7 3 times. So I can do my little long division here, right? 2, 72. We have 3 times uh, 6 minus 1, bring down the 2, and 2 goes into 12, 6 times, and we have 36. And 36, I can break up again to be 2 and uh, 18. Okay? The denominator breaks out to be 2 and 2. So I'm not going to do the full prime factorization here. Um, you can, if you want, you do another 2 and 9, and the 9 to be 3 and 3. But I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it as negative 1, right? The negatives. Uh, times 2, times 2, times 18. And the denominator is just negative 1 <coughs> times 2 times 2. Okay? Well, the 2's cancel, right? 2, 2, 2, 2, negative 1, negative 1. And our final answer now is 18, and we're good. But if we wanted to practice doing this in our head, and that's the kind of way I, I do it, I look at this and say, okay, 4 into 72. I don't know that off the top of my head. Okay? But I know 4 goes into 80 uh, evenly, right? 4 goes into 80 20 times, right? 20 times 4 is 80. So I think about, okay, if 4, so if I go into 80, and 4 goes into 80 20 times, right? So uh, 4 goes into 80 20 times, okay? Well, if I subtract another 4 from that, right? So if I go 80 minus 4, I get 76. Well, that's just one more, one less 4, that's 19 times. And 76 minus 4 is 72, so 4 must go into 72 18 times. And that's how we get that final answer, okay? So, there's multiple methods. This is one of the techniques I do in my head really quickly. Um, I'm sure there's other techniques, but that's just how I think about it and see it. So again, let's recap. We had negative 72 over negative 4. I broke down 72 to be set, uh, 2 times 36. And then 36 broke down to be 2 times 18. And that's where I stopped, because I knew that 4 broke down to be 2 times 2. The negative 1's canceled. And now I have the, two, the 2's will cancel just enough to be left with 18. Now, of course, you could break down this even more, and you'd be left with more things. And then you have to multiply it back out. And they would multiply back out to be 18. You'd have a 2, a 3, and a 3. And that would multiply to be 18. But knowing kind of what's going on, I kind of stopped and didn't continue that, uh, that uh, prime factorization there. But either way, 18's our final answer.